Welcome to Fanatics Live, where we virtually connect you with your favorite stars and athletes right at home. Tonight, we will be meeting with fans, signing autographs, and engaging in live Q&A. Now, let's welcome our host. Hey, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Fanatics Live, where we bring your favorite athletes to you right at home. I'm your host, Doug Plagans. We'll be getting your special guest here in just a moment. But today's show, folks, want to remind you it's brought to you by Tops, delighting fans with trading cards for over 70 years. Well, time to bring in our special guest today, acquired by the New York Yankees in April of this year. He's become a fixture on one of baseball's top teams in his first year in pinstripes, made his first all-star game appearance in July, and in addition to a breakout offensive season, he's emerged as one of the game's best defensive catchers. Joining us today on Fanatics Live, New York Yankees catcher Jose Trevino here with us. Jose, thanks for being here. How are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing good, Doug. How you doing? Doing great. Great to have you here. We're going to have a lot of fun here today. And for you and everybody tuned in out there, real quick, want to get through a quick rundown of what we can expect. We have some questions for you coming up in just a moment. We've got some folks waiting patiently backstage who are going to get a chance to talk to you as well here in a few. We've got some questions coming in from social media. Mention today's show brought to you by Tops. So we're going to open a few boxes of the new 2022 Tops Clearly yeah. Authentic Baseball Cards. You're going to help us do that here in just a few moments. And we're going to have the rapid fire portion coming up a little bit later on in the show as well. So uh, hopefully you have your thinking cap on for that one. Hopefully you're uh, you're ready for it. But uh, before we get too far along here, Jose, we want to go back to July for just a moment. Uh, you appeared in your first MLB All-Star game. Just wanted to ask you first, what was that experience like? And hey, a belated congratulations to you as well. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, it was definitely an experience I'll never forget, you know having uh, been my first time, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, a lot of my teammates had been there. So they were just like, Hey, you know, go out there, open mind, have a good time. And, and there's going to be a lot of free stuff. So take it. I was like, all right, <laughs> whatever you say. So uh, it was, it was good to be out there. It was good to be out there with uh, some of my other teammates and stuff. So it was, it was great. Jose Trevino here with us on Fanatics Live today. And Jose, it was your first All-Star game. Jordan Romano was there too, your old college teammate. It was her, his first appearance at the All-Star game too. What was it like to be able to see him there, share that experience a little bit? No, it was really awesome. You know, um, I know Jordo, we went, I mean, went to college together, Old Roberts, and, you know, seeing all the hard work that he's, he's has come and, and basically, you know, turned himself into an All-Star, you know, uh, super pumped for him. And, you know, I think it's cool because, you know, you know, I don't know how many people get two all-stars from one small D1 school. So for us to go out there and represent Oral Roberts, I thought it was a good thing. You grew up in Texas, Jose. You broke mm -hmm. in as a member of the Rangers. Now you're playing for baseball's most storied franchise, the, the New York Yankees. What's the, the change been like for you breaking in with the Rangers? I'm sure they're always going to have, a, you know, a spot in your heart because that's the team you broke in with. But now as a member of the yeah. Yankees, what's it been like? Yeah, no, I'm super thankful for my time in Texas. You know, I learned a lot um, from the game, from how to be a professional. You know, I, I owe those people a lot, but being a pinstripe is special. You know, um, you carry it around, you wear it, you wear it on your chest, you know, and you're like, tell everybody, yeah, I'm a New York Yankee, uh, and you're proud of it. But I love it. It's been great so far, and uh, hopefully we continue. And, Jose, we're at that point in the calendar. We talked to Andy Pettit not too long ago here on Fanatics Live, and he said – this point, part of the season can be a grind, but you look forward, you just want to get to September. Well, we're doing this here on September yeah. 1st, and the games are getting bigger now every single day. How mm -hmm. do you keep yourself focused? Again, as I mentioned, we're at that point where you got pennant races, the game's just getting bigger every day. Yeah, yeah no, just staying prepared. Uh, for me, it's just being prepared, coming to the field daily, you know, getting, getting the work in and, um, you know, just being prepared to play and go out there and give it everything you got. And it's going to be an exciting race to the finish. And uh, we certainly wish you and your teammates the best of luck as uh, we get closer to October and beyond. Uh, Jose, great stuff. Let's get now into some of the folks who are patiently waiting backstage, uh, waiting for a chance to get to talk to our man, Jose Trevino, right here. First, we're going to go to Bill calling in from Brick, New Jersey. Says he'd be a catcher in the majors because the best position on the field. Says he became a fan of yours, Jose because of the way you play every day. Bill says, I always thought the catcher's the heart of the team, and Jose always shows a lot of heart. So let's welcome in Bill 
as uh, he is joining us. Now, I want to give a shout out to to Bill's grandson, uh, Logan White, who's watching. Had a baseball practice, couldn't make it here today, but uh, but he's tuned in. Hi, Jose. Nice to meet you. Hey, Bill. How's it going? Good. Uh, so I have to say, it's really a pleasure to meet you. It's really nice to have you know a couple of catchers on the Yankees that are really great defensive catchers, and especially one that can that's got a little offense to go along with it. <clears throat> you know, you've done a really great job this year. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to get into the question part of it right now. I guess um, he mentioned that my uh, my grandson Logan Logan White. And he recently joined a, a travel team, baseball travel team down at Tom's River. And uh, he was actually thinking about, you know, becoming a catcher. He even had us buy the catcher's gear this year. And uh, the question that he really wanted to ask you was, you know, what? how did you become a catcher? What was kind of your road to get to becoming a catcher? And, and any tips for him? <laughs> uh, my road's a little different. Uh, I actually didn't pick catcher. They picked it for me. Uh, but I grew to I grew to love the position. You know, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else. Um, so uh, I, I had caught a little bit in high school. I was going through some some draft combine stuff, and they were like, "Hey, we, we want to see you behind the plate." Caught a couple games there, uh, and then I caught a few games in college. Uh, but when I got drafted, I got drafted as second baseman. And it's the first day I showed up to short season in Spokane. There was a big old duffel bag waiting for me in my locker. <laughs> Uh, and the catching coach had ran by and he's like, Hey man, nice to meet you. Um, did you get that bag in your locker? And I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's for me. He goes, no, it's for you. Uh, I was like, it's catching gear. And he said, yeah, I, I'll meet you outside in 15 minutes. I said, I don't have a glove. And he's like, do you have an agent? I said, yeah. He goes, tell him to overnight you two gloves. You can use my glove, get the gear on and I'll see you outside in 15 minutes. Wow. And so ever since then, I kind of just been working at it, working at it. And then, um, you know, the first half of that season went on. I caught a couple games, but then the second half of that short season, I caught a lot, uh, and I wasn't that good at it. I wasn't that good at it. So, um, I, I I I take pride in defense. I love I love my my defensive abilities, uh, but that all started that day. I was like, I want to be one of the best catchers. You know, to be out there and play defense. I want my my pitchers to trust me. I want my teammates to trust me. Um, so I, I mean, I, I got my signing bonus. Uh, I built a batting cage and I bought a pitching machine and I just started blocking baseballs and receiving baseballs and doing footwork and stuff. But as for, your, um, Logan is his name, right? Right. So I would say the biggest thing to do is, is understand that as a catcher, you're there to serve, you're there to serve the pitcher on the mound. Um, I don't know how old he is, but the older you get, the more important the relationship between pitchers and catchers gets, um, and that's not only on the field, that's off the field, too. Getting to know them, um, their stuff on the field, but getting to know them off the field, too, as well. So I would say for, for Logan, if there's anything defensively or technical-wise, I would say, you know, learn to catch the ball clean and learn to block the ball and learn to throw people out. You know, it sounds easy, but it's really, really difficult. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice. So, so I, I can't imagine what it's really like when you've got a 95-mile-an-hour pitch and it's bad enough when it's coming at you as a fastball straight on, but when the ball is moving and it's headed for the dirt, you know, I, I don't, I don't even know how you begin to catch that ball. Yeah. Well, it's like, it's like anything you do. Uh, I think anything you do in life, you do it over and over again, you kind of get used to it. Your eyes get used to it. So that's the reason why I, I personally bought the pitch machine and did the batting cage because I needed to see those reps. I needed to have those reps over and over again. So I was like, okay, I know I can see this ball bouncing in the dirt and I know where I need it to hit me, you know, and I, I'm not going to sit there and say I was the perfect blocker either. I had bruises all up and down my arms, um, but I, I learned, to, I learned to use my chest protector just by practicing. So whether that was practicing with, uh, I, I'll admit this practice with tennis balls because I didn't want to get hit that much by the ball at first um, or softballs and then, you know, progressing your way to a harder baseball. I, that's actually a really good suggestion. Um, yeah. You know, I, a lot was made, too, of in the beginning when you joined the Yankees, how you and Kyle worked together and working with the pitchers. Mm -hmm. You know, how did that make your transition that much easier? Oh, so much easier. Uh, I owe a lot to Higgy. Higgy's been there, you know, uh, in the beginning. I don't know. I mean, it's just it's hard to 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 kind of get into a pitching staff and not know everybody, barely know, you know, where they're from. Uh, let alone what their pitchers are doing, how their pitchers are moving, how they like to use their pitches. But 
Higgy was right there with me. Higgy's like, hey, this guy likes to do this. This guy does great with this. Um, and Higgy was just there for all the little details that I needed, and, and, and he's helped me a lot. Yeah, you got you got to know everybody's tendencies, not just on that pitching staff, but really on the uh, on the entire uh, on the entire field on a night to night basis. Yeah. Jose, you got a baseball there, from what uh, I understand, to uh, to yeah. sign for our, our friend Bill here. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, as we said, the the catcher there it is. Look at that Looks awesome great. looking Thank baseball. You. Very yeah. cool. There you go. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much, Bill, for being here with us on Fanatics Live. And as I said, Jose, you got to be so tuned in with everything going on in the field. I think that's why so many guys that play your position go on to be managers uh, later on. <laughs> yeah. No, I, yeah, I agree. I mean, that's definitely something I would like to do. I would definitely like to manage. Um, but we'll, I mean, we'll see what happens. You, you got a long time before, before you have to start <laughs> yeah. uh, thinking about that. Let's go now to a, a couple of other folks that we have tuned in. Some young baseball fans from Springfield, New Jersey. So more Garden State representation yeah. here. Some good Yankees fans. Sammy and Charlie, their brothers. <clears throat> Sammy says he'd want to be a catcher if he played in the majors, and he would want his nickname to be the Big Bomber. Charlie says he'd want to be a first baseman. He says he actually got to take a little BP uh, on the field at Yankee Stadium during oh, an nice. event as well, which is pretty awesome. Let's bring in Sammy and Charlie, two great Yankees fans. We've got Sammy on the left, Charlie on the right. You guys are on with Jose Trevino. Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> okay, so who's the, who's the big bomber? Raise your hand. Oh, nice. So I'm assuming, and you're Sammy or Charlie? I'm Sammy. Sammy. And then Charlie's the one that took batting practice on the field, right? Yeah, we both did. did. You one over the, did you hit one over the fence? No. No, not yet? <laughs> ah, you got to eat your vegetables. That's what they tell us, right? Yeah. Are y'all a little nervous? I'm a little nervous, too. Yeah. It's okay. How about we start? How about we start with this? Who's your favorite player on the Yankees? Okay. Y'all have a favorite player on the Yankees? Yeah. <laughs> all right, on the count of three, on the count of three, we're all going to say our favorite player on the Yankees. Ready? One, two, three. Aaron Judge. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Ask the question. Um, which MLB player have you looked up to, like, in, in your life, like, who inspired yeah. you to play MLB baseball? Oh, I would say, um, I would say Derek Jeter. Um, and like why? I love, what's that? Uh, and like, why, how do you, like, how do he inspire you? Yeah, no, uh, I, I, my pick is Derek Jeter. Uh, just the way he carried himself on the field and off the field. Um, and he's a champion. You know, he goes out there and he wins, he wins championships. But for me, you know, it's how he played the game. He played hard, and he loved to play the game. Uh, and I think uh, that's something I try to do every day. Every day I, I get out there, I try my best to to enjoy enjoy the game of baseball because in the end, it's a game, you know, and it's supposed to be fun. So. All right. Uh, my question for you is, how did you end up becoming a Yankee? How did I end up becoming a Yankee? I wish I could say that I picked. Uh, myself to be a Yankee, but I got I got traded from the Texas Rangers. I had a big beard, and I had to shave it, so I had to get used to it. Um, but I think the real reason why I, I became a Yankee is because nobody wanted to see my beard anymore. So I think that's what happened. They were like, you know what? I think you can uh, you'd be a good Yankee if you just shave your face. That's kind of funny. All right. All right. Well, Sammy and Charlie, uh, Jose's got uh, got baseball there for you, from from what I understand. Yeah, I got two of them right here. One for each of you guys. Y'all. Sammy, hit some homers. And Charlie, you gotta eat your vegetables. You gotta hit homers <laughs> at Yankee Stadium, right? There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's awesome. Thanks to Sammy and Charlie for stopping by. And uh, Bill, before that, uh, thanks to all of them for joining us here today on Fanatics Live with Jose Trevino. And uh, Jose, now we're going to take some questions off social media. We always let the folks on social media have a turn asking some questions. Make sure to follow Fanatics on Instagram. 
Keep an eye out for stories where you can submit your best question to each of our guests and earn a chance to have it answered live on the air. First, we are going to go out to uh, Alex on Instagram. What's up, Jose Trevino? My name's Alex Delatea from Long Island, New York. My question to you is, what's your favorite pregame meal? Go Yanks. The pregame meal. Nice. Pregame meal. Man, it just dep- it depends on the day. Um, you know, back back in the minor leagues, it was a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich with uh, one slice of bread. Those are good. Uh, but I would say some kind of some kind of pasta or a shake. It just kind of depends on the day, how my mornings went. Uh, if I had a big breakfast in the morning, or if I had a, a small breakfast and I'll just crush some pasta before the game. But I don't like to eat too much before the games. I don't want my stomach filling, you know, just in case the nerves are out there. Yeah, some guys are really super superstitious about that. They want the exact same thing every day, yeah. and some guys can can roll with it a little bit. Seems like you're you're more just whatever the day brings you. Yeah, no, for sure. But it's definitely kind of like planned out a little bit by breakfast time. So I'm like, all right, I need to fuel up, or you know, in the weather too, if it's hot or if we're indoors, anything like that. So it kind of all plays a factor in it. Lots of different factors there, and uh, we've got another one coming in from social media. This is from Nina. Asks, what has been your favorite moment with the Yankees so far, Jose? Oh, my favorite moment so far. Um, man, I got a lot of them. You know, um, I think I would definitely say the 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 walk off on my on my dad's birthday. I think that was that was a that was a big moment, not only for me but for our team too. Um, you know, I'm glad we won in the long run, but that was a that was a huge day in general for me uh, and my family. I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that had to be special. And as you touched on right off the top, just being a New York Yankee every day, I'm mm-hmm. sure sometimes you you have to pinch yourself a little bit when you just look around the ballpark and see see <laughs> the history around you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's a it's a historic franchise, and to be a part of it is uh, is special. Yeah, it's a, a lot of special stuff I'm sure you're getting to uh, experience and witness every single day. And I want to say thanks to Alex and Nina for the questions there on social media. Remember, you can follow along Fanatics on Instagram, ask questions for our future shows. Maybe you'll see them answered right here on the air. Well, Jose, we said we were going to open up some baseball cards, and it's come yes. to that time of the show. So as I mentioned, this show sponsored by Tops. They've given us three boxes of 2022 Tops Clearly Authentic. Beautiful cards. We'll open them in a minute right here. Jose's got them in his hands right there. We're going to open them live on the air. Make sure you're following at Tops on social media because they're giving away all three cards open on air shortly after this show. So some uh, lucky folks are going to get these. Now I want to tell you a little bit more about what makes the set so special. Clearly Authentic delivers game-changing rookies active stars and all-time greats on an alluring array of acetate cards all autographs are encased and signed directly on card that's right every card is autographed here and clearly authentic also keep an eye out for the rainbow of randomly inserted color parallels throughout the set and for rare case hits from superstar signers on iconic designs reimagine for luminescent technology folks get your box today these are beautiful cards 2022 tops clearly authentic so uh, why don't we dive in here jose let's start ripping these open nice looks like yes. you got the first one each one has one autographed card in it i I'll look there, what, is, there is a chance a you can pull some here if there's a jeter card in here or an aaron judge card in here i might be running out of this place y'all won't catch me yeah the uh, the jeter might just mysteriously walk out and there is the possibility of pulling an aaron judge i look to see if we could get any of your uh, current or former teammates so we have one here. What do we have? Looks like Jose's happy. Dale Murphy, Murphy. look at that. Yo, There's an all-timer. Really, nice. really cool card. And, and that's the thing, Jose. We talked about it. These cards just such a nice design. And yeah. they're all autographed. They're all encased. Look at that. And that's the old 87 tops design. Very it's cool. Only 50 of them. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, this that's a, really sweet. That's a, a number numbered parallel right there jose what was it like the first time you saw yourself on a baseball card it was it was pretty cool i think uh i think i was in spokane washington and i saw it at my first professional one because i think we had some in college uh team usa one but it was just like i i think it's pretty cool you know growing up and having like collected cards and, and played with cards and be like oh these are cool but like now i'm on a baseball card i think it's uh you know something cool the kid in me gets a little little happy you know 
Well, that's that's what it's all about. And I was going to ask you that. Did you did you collect it all as a kid? It seems like anybody who spends time around the game just winds up with baseball cards at some point. Yeah, I mean, I, I did. Uh, I wasn't as, you know, I didn't collect them, collect them. I would I would do something where I would collect the cards and I would put them out in like a lineup and I would play baseball in my house and line them up and, and break things. So just don't break anything inside the house. You can play baseball. But don't do that. Yeah, you're. Oh, we got another one. Jose's uh, open yeah. box number two. We had the Dale Murphy. That's a tough act to follow. What do we have here? It's a good one right here. Kyle Tucker. Look at that. Kyle Tucker on the Generation Now design. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a nice one. Uh, another guy like you, Jose, another guy that uh, hopes to be playing uh, deep into the fall. Yeah, definitely. All right. So we've nice got a couple of nice ones here in the first two. We had the uh, 1987 design, number to 50, Dale Murphy. We have the generation now, Kyle Tucker. So a star of yesterday and a current star. Let's see what Jose can pull for us out of this, the third box. And remember, follow along at Tops on social media because they're giving away all three cards open on air shortly after Ooh. this show. It's a good one as well. Look at that. Another generation now, Alec Manoa. Alec Manoa, yeah. Have you had a chance to face him? Yeah, he's good. He can he can throw it. He can throw it, man. He's uh, he's definitely he has a good arm. You know, over there in Toronto, they got a good team. Um, but yeah, he's a, he's a, he has a good arm. He's a good pitcher. You know, he's a good competitor. You're on you're on fire. I feel like we should just give you more to open here. You're you're yeah, rolling bring right him now. on. I'll I'll open all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are some great ones. We had the uh, we had three nice pulls there: Dale Murphy, Kyle Tucker, the Alec Manoa there in the uh, clearly authentic. And as I mentioned, follow at Tops on social media. They're giving away all three cards open on air shortly after this show. Tops clearly authentic. If you like what you saw there and you want to go out and look for more information on that product, a beautiful product. We saw the designs right there. So. A lot of fun. We open up some cards, and I mentioned, Jose, we're not going to let you off easy. We got the rapid fire <laughs> portion yes. of the show coming up right here. So I'm going to throw something out there. It could be baseball related. It could be off the field. Just tell me the first thing that comes to you. Nice. You All ready? Right. I'm ready. All right, here we go. First, the your favorite away park to play in, favorite park to visit? Uh, St. Louis. I went there the first time this year. Same really thing. nice park. Yeah, really nice park. Uh, you just uh, open up some clearly authentic, some autograph cards in there. Whose autograph, Jose, do you want? Do I want? I want a Derek Jeter autograph. There you go. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you I know some people. Yeah, I'm sure we yeah, can hook that I, up for I, you. I'm, I might be able to ask somebody. <laughs> I'm sure we could get that uh, get that worked out for you. Jose, Texas barbecue or New York pizza? What do you prefer? Oh, Texas barbecue. Yeah, you can't go wrong with either, but I do love the <laughs> yeah, Texas barbecue. I, I, like, I like both, but I'll, I'll go with Texas barbecue. Yeah, it's a, it's a win-win, but uh, I do love Texas barbecue. Love New York pizza, too. Jose, you talked about it a little bit already, but uh, your favorite player growing up. Yeah, uh, I mean, I had I had multiple. Um, I, anything from, from, from Derek Jeter to watching Craig Biggio play to watching Jeff Bagwell play, um, you know, Yachty or Molina – which is someone I met this year, but uh, definitely the, that group of guys, man, just the way they played the game. They played the game hard, and, uh, you know, they wanted to win, you know, and they played hard. Love the reference to the old Killer Bees Astros uh, yeah. era there. Uh, who do you want to jersey swap with, Jose? It's gotten to be a big thing in all of sports. Is there somebody you'd like to jersey swap with? I've, I've done it. I did it. I got it recently. Uh, I got I got uh, Pujols and Yadier Molina. That's awesome. Uh, Yachty, I, I, had got a, I had got a Pujols one. A few a few years ago, uh, when he was in Anaheim, but but Yachty was definitely the one I was really, really looking forward to, and I and I got it. I got the I think they call it the Victory Blue uh, jersey, and yeah, he wrote me a little message on there, and uh, I think that's pretty sweet. That is really cool. Two all time yeah. greats, and uh, who've been yep. doing it for a long time. Gum or sunflower seeds, Jose? Uh, Big League Chew. Big League Chew can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, can't go. It comes in the pouch. Can't go wrong with the big league chew. Yep. Your favorite flavor? Do you have a preferred flavor? Just whatever's there. Uh, grape. I'm a grape guy. The grape yeah, big, big league big, chew. Grape, big league chew. Yeah, I like that. So if anybody ever sees you out there and they give you a bag of grape big league chew, you're going to get uh, pretty excited about that. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be stoked about it. 
Pre-game ritual, Jose, is there anything that uh, you do every single day before you get on the field? Uh, I sign autographs. Hey, there I'll you sign go. A couple autographs. I'll sign a couple autographs here and there, um, mainly for kids. You know, you never know. That's that kid's only time he's ever going to get an autograph. You never know what's going to happen. Like, that might shoot inspiration to that kid and be like, I want to be a major league baseball player and I want to do that. You know, so um, that's kind of something I do. I try to do before every game. That's awesome. And that's what it's all about. And you never know when it's going to be somebody's first time out of the ballpark and you have a chance to make it special for them. So uh, that's really cool. Jose, one word to describe your teammate Aaron Judge's season that he's having. Uh, I got three letters. MVP. MVP. I think he's on his way. Yeah, he's just uh, rolling and he is not done. Jose, best part of being a dad. Oh, man. Uh when you have bad games, you go home and he thinks you did good. Actually, he's starting to get to the age where he knows that if I don't get any hits or we don't win, he knows. He knows now. So a little more pressure. Uh, yeah, a little bit more pressure. But he, he don't like he don't like when the Yankees lose. He he's kind of starting to cry. But we're we're working on that. That's awesome. And uh, was there a player at the All Star festivities, Jose, that you were most excited to meet that maybe you hadn't met before? Um, I'd say Ken Griffey. Uh, he was he was taking pictures and I was with my son sitting on the couches watching the home run derby, and my son Josiah actually looked over to King Griffey and was like, "Nice shoes," and he had the swing bands on, and I was like, "This dude doesn't even know who he's talking to right now. He's talking to King Griffey." I kind of introduced myself and he took some he took some pictures uh, of me and my son, but my son, I, I thought it was the funniest thing. My son was like, "Hey, you got nice shoes on." And King Griffey was like, "Thanks, little man." And, <laughs> I went over there and I was like, hey, it's nice to meet you. You know, my son is four and he's he likes your shoes. He's like, oh, yeah, thank you. That's awesome. And he's uh, one of the most universally loved athletes yeah. of, of all time. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, you, I feel like you talk to everybody who your favorite players. Ken Griffey Jr.'s name is going to be one, yeah. one of the ones that uh, consistently comes up. Well, Jose, you nailed the rapid fire portion of the show. You did a great job here today. I want to thank you so much for being with us here today on Fanatics Live. And uh, before we let you go, is there anything else you want to say to to all the Jose Trevino and Yankees fans who might be tuned in out there? <laughs> no, man, just thank you for the for the support um, and looking forward to seeing you on the playoffs. Well, I know we're going to be uh, pulling for you down the stretch here and, uh, and watching each day as these games get to be bigger and bigger every single day. Uh, Jose, we thank you very much for being with us here on Fanatics Live. Best of luck, and we look forward to talking to you again. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go Yankees. Jose Trevino right there. Hope everybody had a great time. Awesome to hear from Jose. Wish him all the best the rest of the season. As a reminder, be sure to follow us on social media at Fanatics to be able to submit your best questions to our future guests. Go to fanatics.com slash live to view any upcoming appearances and watch previous broadcasts. Well, big thanks once again to Jose Trevino of the Yankees for stopping by. Thanks to everybody out there who had a question, the folks who joined us, the people who chimed in on social media. Thanks to Tops, The cards were awesome. Thanks to our entire outstanding crew, as always. And big thanks to everybody who tuned in here today on Fanatics Live. My name's Doug Plagans. This has been Fanatics Live. We'll talk to you next time.